Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, as reported at Legacy.com the fourth week of June 2023. Legacy.com is where you can find any obituary or publish an obituary in any newspaper in America and beyond. Actor Frederick Forrest died June 23, 2023 at his home in Santa Monica, California. He died after a long illness at the age of 86. He was nominated for an Academy Award for his performance opposite Bette Midler in The Rose. Forrest is also being remembered for his roles in Apocalypse Now, Lonesome Dove, 21 Jump Street, and many other movies and TV shows. Actress Carmen Sevilla died June 27, 2023, in Madrid. She died of Alzheimer's disease and pneumonia at the age of 92. Born in Spain, she became a star of the Golden Age of Hollywood, starring in such films as Antony and Cleopatra and King of Kings. Sevilla is also being remembered for her extensive work on Spanish television later in life. Songwriter Sheldon Harnick died June 23, 2023 at his home in New York City. He died of natural causes at the age of 99. He wrote the lyrics to the beloved hit musical Fiddler on the Roof. Harnick is also being remembered for writing lyrics to musicals like Fiorello and She Loves Me. Scientist Firuz Naduri died June 9, 2023 at a medical facility in Los Angeles. He died of complications from a fall at the age of 77. He was the longtime director of NASA's Mars program, and he oversaw several successful missions, including the two Mars rovers, Spirit and Opportunity. Nadari is also being remembered as a mentor to young scientists and an inspiration to his fellow Iranian Americans. Athlete and stuntman Dean Smith died June 24, 2023 in Breckenridge, Texas. He died of cancer at the age of 94. He was a sprinter who won a gold medal at the 1952 Olympics. He is also being remembered as a stuntman and actor who doubled for greats including Paul Newman, John Wayne, and Roy Rogers. Smith was a U.S. Army veteran. Musician Jesse McReynolds died June 23, 2023 in Gallatin, Tennessee at the age of 93. He sang and played mandolin in the bluegrass duo Jim and Jesse and his playing style was influential on the development of bluegrass music. He is being remembered as a longtime Grand Ole Opry member who became the Opry's oldest cast member in 2020. McReynolds was a U.S. Army veteran of the Korean War. A note to remember, sometimes personal information such as someone's cause of death is not announced immediately or publicly at all by their family or the authorities. Every family has a right to their privacy. Economist Harry Markowitz died June 22, 2023 in San Diego. He died of pneumonia and sepsis at the age of 95. He transformed the way we invest in stocks with his modern portfolio theory, which encourages diversification. Markowitz is being remembered for winning the 1990 Nobel Prize in Economic Sciences for his groundbreaking work. Scientist John Goodenough died June 25, 2023 at an assisted living facility in Austin, Texas at the age of 100. He was one of three scientists who developed the rechargeable lithium-ion battery, now widely used in electronics, electric vehicles, and more. He is being remembered for winning the 2019 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his work. At the age of 97, he was the oldest person ever to win a Nobel Prize. Goodenough was a U.S. Army veteran of World War II, having served as a meteorologist. Actor Nicholas Coster died June 26, 2023 at a hospital in Florida. 
He died of complications from myelodysplastic syndromes at the age of 89. He had roles in many soap operas, notably starring in Santa Barbara as Lionel Lockridge. Coster is also being remembered for roles in TV shows like The Bay, Star Trek The Next Generation, and The Facts of Life, as well as a movie role in All the President's Men. Football player Darren Diedrich died June 24, 2023 at Toronto General Hospital. He died of cancer at the age of 44. He played for both the NFL and the CFL, winning three Grey Cups with the Montreal Alouettes and the Edmonton Eskimos. Diedrich is also being remembered for his college football career at the University of Nebraska, where he led the Big 12 Conference in rushing his junior year. Judge H. Lee Sarakin died June 20, 2023, in La Jolla, California. He died of pulmonary fibrosis at the age of 94. In 1986, he overturned the notorious murder conviction of boxer Reuben Hurricane Carter, freeing him after almost 20 years in prison. Sarakin is also being remembered for ruling against the tobacco industry in a civil suit declaring that it had engaged in a conspiracy to hide evidence of the harmful effects of its products. Musician Bobby Osborne died June 27, 2023, at a hospital in Gallatin, Tennessee, at the age of 91. He sang and played mandolin for the Osborne brothers, who had bluegrass hits like Rocky Top and Ruby Are You Mad? He is being remembered for the Osborne Brothers' pioneering bluegrass sound, featuring his high lead vocals. Osborne was a U.S. Marine Corps veteran of the Korean War, where he earned a Purple Heart. Football player Ryan Mallett died June 27, 2023, in Destin, Florida. He died by drowning at the age of 35. He was a quarterback for the New England Patriots, Houston Texans, and Baltimore Ravens. Mallet is also being remembered for his college football career at the University of Arkansas. Politician Lowell Weicker died June 28, 2023, at a hospital in Middletown, Connecticut at the age of 92. He represented Connecticut in the U.S. Senate in the 1970s and 80s, serving on the Watergate Committee and becoming the first Republican to call for President Richard Nixon's resignation. He is also being remembered as Connecticut's third-party governor in the early 90s when he implemented the state's first income tax and turned around a significant budget deficit. Weicker was a U.S. Army veteran who served in the 1950s. Veteran Homer Hoags died June 27, 2023, in Dallas at the age of 96. He served in the U.S. Army Air Forces as one of the celebrated Tuskegee Airmen. He was an airplane and engine mechanic in the 99th Fighter Squadron, working on P-47 Thunderbolts. Hoags is being remembered for being honored with the Congressional Gold Medal alongside other Tuskegee Airmen. Actress and TV host Talina Fernandez died June 28, 2023, in Mexico at the age of 78. She was one of the most recognizable faces on Mexican TV, beginning when she starred in telenovelas like Caras y Gestos and Muchachita. Fernandez is also being remembered as a TV host, presenting awards shows, beauty pageants, sports events, and more. Actor Julian Sands was found dead this week at the age of 65 after going missing in January on California's Mount Baldy. He starred as the romantic lead in the Oscar-winning film A Room with a View. Sands is also being remembered for roles in movies like Warlock, Arachnophobia, and Gothic, as well as on Smallville, 24, and other TV shows.
In addition to featuring current deaths in the news, Legacy.com also honors the lives and legacies of notable people who died in the past. Here are some of this week's anniversaries. Fourteen years ago this week, singer Michael Jackson died at the age of 50. He was legendary from his early days with the Jackson 5 and known as the King of Pop for massive hits like Beat It, Billie Jean, and Bad. Fourteen years ago this week, actress Farrah Fawcett died at the age of 62. The Emmy nominee was a beloved star of Charlie's Angels, and her red swimsuit poster was a 1970s icon. Twenty years ago this week, actress Katherine Hepburn died at the age of 96. One of the great stars of the Golden Age of Hollywood, she won four Oscars for films including Guess Who's Coming to Dinner and On Golden Pond. Twenty years ago this week, comedian and actor Buddy Hackett died at the age of 78. He was known for movies like The Love Bug and The Music Man. Twenty-one years ago this week, singer and actress Rosemary Clooney died at the age of 74. She starred in White Christmas and had hit songs like Come On To My House and Mambo Italiano. Thirty years ago this week, baseball player Roy Campanella died at the age of 71. Playing for the Brooklyn Dodgers in the 1940s and 50s, he is considered one of the greatest catchers of all time. Singer George Michael was born 60 years ago this week. He died in 2016 at the age of 53. His hits as a solo artist and with Wham! include Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go, Faith, and Freedom 90. Singer Florence Ballard was born 80 years ago this week. She died in 1976 at the age of 32. She was a founding member of the Supremes, singing on hits like Where Did Our Love Go and Baby Love. Actor Pat Morita was born 91 years ago this week. He died in 2005 at the age of 73. He was a star of the Karate Kid film series and the TV show Happy Days. Actress and singer Lena Horne was born 106 years ago this week. She died in 2010 at the age of 92. She starred in movies like Cabin in the Sky and The Wiz, and she sang songs including Stormy Weather. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Connecticut have been lowered to honor the memory of former Governor Lowell P. Weicker, Jr. Flags in Maryland have been lowered to honor the memory of former State Senator Norman R. Stone, Jr. Flags in Maryland have also been lowered to honor the memory of Firefighter Bryce C. Trosbach of the Naval District Washington Fire Department at Naval Air Station Patuxent River, who died in the line of duty. Flags in Virginia have been lowered to honor the memory of Wintergreen Police Officer Mark Christopher Wagner II, who died in the line of duty. Flags in New York have been lowered to honor the memory of former Lieutenant Governor Richard Ravitch. Flags in Arkansas have been lowered to honor the memory of State Supreme Court Justice Robin French Wynn. Flags in Missouri have been lowered to honor the memory of New Haven Burger Fire Protection District Firefighter Lloyd M. Rudiger. Flags in Wisconsin have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Army Private First Class Clinton P. Koloski who died in combat in France during World War II. His remains were recently identified and returned home for burial. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.